What's going on guys? Welcome to your next uh, Facebook SDK for Android tutorial. What we're going to do in this tutorial is just simply log in, uh, give our application you know, the permissions that it needs to interact with Facebook and we're also going to log out. So just real simple commands. Um, you might think it's complicated if you've done some programming before but Facebook actually makes it pretty easy with their SDK. So we're going to do that within our on click method down here. Again this refers to that button that we have set up. So if the Facebook session is valid, what we want to do is log out. Else if it's not valid, we want to log in or give authorization um, to access Facebook from our application. So let's just create the log out first because it's pretty simple. We're just going to do Facebook and then log out and we refer to the context. So we're just going to say uh, like git base context or something like that, application context. And we're gravy baby. But uh, we have to surround this with a try and catch, so you can just hover over and do a try and catch, and it catches our two exceptions, which is the input output exception and the malformed URL exception. So uh, just prints that to the stack trace, so we can kind of you know debug and stuff like that. That's just uh, you know how simple it is. And after we log out, we probably want to update what our graphic looks like on the on the GUI. So we're just going to call that method we set up that updates our button. So I'm just going to call the update button image and that's it. I mean we've we've created our logout button uh, for Facebook. The next thing that we want to do is obviously have access or get permission. So we're going to do that within our else statement here and it's almost as simple. All we have to do is refer to the Facebook object again and do authorize. There's three options here. Some are for additional um, permissions which I'll get into in a second. But uh, we're just going to do this top choice here that takes an activity and a dialogue listener. So double click that and for activity we're going to refer to this or the name of our activity which is starting, uh, what is it, starting place, dot this. And for a listener we're just going to create a new dialogue listener. This will come from the Facebook SDK so we're just going to create a new, uh, it's going to be an inner class so we're going to say uh, new control space. And I'll give us some options. We're going to refer to this Facebook dot dialogue listener, which is anonymous in our class. Select that bad boy, double click, and it set everything up for us. Uh, we want to end this with a semicolon down here after this parentheses, and we're still getting some errors because we have to hover over and add our import from the Facebook SDK. So just click import, and everything is good. I mean, we have four different methods that can be called. Once you know we have authorization, that's going to call the on complete. If there's an error, it's going to call this uh, dialog error here, um, or if there's a Facebook error, or if the user cancels. So we could just create a toast within some of these other ones, like toast dot make text um, context will be this text on cancel. Um, Again, we're going to set the toast length to be like short or something just so we know what is being called. And we're just going to do a simple show there. Uh, it's going to give us uh, error. Probably have to replace this with starting place dot this. And there's our toast. We can create some of these for uh, these other options as well, like the on air or Facebook, um, just so we know. Uh, obviously you probably want to take these out or you could just do a log.d which will log it to the debugger but I like to create a toast uh, so the user knows what happens um, probably not something like Facebook error because they'll be like what what does that mean but you can get personal with these if you want be like oh I'm sorry I couldn't log in to Facebook are bad or something like that you know um, but just experiment with that with our on complete again what we want to do is update our button graphics so I'm just going to call that method and let's just run this see what happens save everything and run it but uh, let's let's do that sorry if I sound like I'm out of breath too I just got done running so kinda just catching back up uh, we have our login button click that bad boy dialog listener comes up and it it, it authorizes um, the reason it authorized because I already gave permission from this emulator running this test program but if if it you know what it should do is it should pop up a dialog that logs you into Facebook oh here we go there we go and uh, type your password and click login obviously my password's pretty lame so 
I'm going to change that. But now we're logged in. It should give you another uh, dialog from the Facebook SDK uh, or the application we set up on the Facebook side of things, the developer side. And it's basically asking the user, is that okay if we uh, use this application uh, with Facebook? And they'll have to agree to that as well. Now let's go back to this authorize method. Like I said, we use the one that has two different parameters, the, the activity and the dialogue listener. We also can use a different type of authorize where we have three parameters. Now the second parameter will be a string array. So we're just going to type out a um, like a new string array. And we can you know ask for some additional permissions. So we can set this equal to be like, um, I'm just going to do one within here, but like email, for example. Oops, didn't mean to put equals there. Um, but just a new string array that asks for the permission uh, to access that user's email. So let's save this, run it. Uh, there's one other thing that we're going to have to do. So we're going to log in. And this is what I'm talking about. See, now it's asking uh, to use our email address, which this is, again is an old email, but feel free to shoot me some emails there. But uh, it's asking you know, the permissions that we passed in that second parameter if we used an authorized with three parameters. So again, they can allow that and, uh, and our application's still working. Now our logout, pretty simple, uh, changes everything, we log out. Now the thing is, everything looks like it's working, everything looks like you know it's uh, working properly, but we also want to add a on activity results. So after we log into Facebook, um, or after we use this login button, we get some kind of a result from Facebook and everything will work properly. Because even though our graphic seems like it's working right now, uh, there's some functionalities that we won't be able to use if we don't add a callback or listen to the response that we get from this dialog here. So we need to implement that. Uh, it's very important. Um, other, otherwise things will not work properly. So go down here and uh, make sure you have one bracket below. We need to create this on activity result method. Um, and again, this is just your standard method uh, that you use for uh, retrieving data from a different activity or opening an, an activity for a result. So we're going to create this uh, on activity result. Again, just type this out, control space, and you get this help menu. Double click on that, and we get some uh, information back such as the request code, um, result code, and data. Uh, the first line of this on activity result, what we need to do is refer to our Facebook object, and we're going to say um, authorize callback. And it passed in these same three parameters that we got back from our on activity results up here. So that's pretty simple. Again, that just adds more functionality that we can use, and it's, it's actually authorizing our Facebook uh, connectivity so we can actually interact with Facebook because we called this authorize here and that will start up our dialog we need a result from that dialog and that's what we're catching down here some of that information that we need for our application to, act, to properly work with the Facebook SDK so make sure you include this on activity result very important um, and that's again how to basically log in log out and uh, you need, again, this uh, on activity result. So save that. And that pretty much covers this tutorial. Um, again, pretty simple. Those were the three concepts. Um, the authorize, which needs this uh, authorized callback. And uh, the Facebook logout, which was pretty simple. So again, thanks for watching, guys. And I will catch you in the next tutorial. Have a good one.